What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Ripple Van Winkle. Hopefully, everyone's having an amazing day. We are halfway through the week. That is what I like to hear. It's Wednesday. It's hump day, September 18th, and tick tock, everyone. Fed is about to drop rates. The question is, how far are they going to drop? But we're also going to talk about mortgage rates and what's going on over here in the U.S. and the economy. We're going to look at Bitcoin. What BlackRock has just put out, bricks, new rails, a new system. Wait until you see this article. I'm going to top it all off. We got a beautiful, beautiful XRP chart for you to look at. So without further ado, you know what we got to do. Let's jump into a Bitcoin, $59,983. It's currently up 1.38% in the past 24 hours. Ethereum coming in at 2309 It's currently down 0.13%. USDTA and USDC both coming back in at their dollar pegs as XRP. It moved down a tad bit, coming in at $0.57. Cents. It's currently down 2.45%. Total cryptocurrency market cap, $2 trillion and 80 billion now we did a very special live stream last night with keith we did a bunch of ta to give you an idea some insights of where the market is going to go we firmly are expecting a push-up in q4 of this year lasting all the way until tax time of 2025 the bull run may may be extended all the way to the end of 2025 folks something to keep an eye on we have yet to have the breakout that we've been looking for this year, but it is coming, especially with the rate cuts. How does the rate cuts play into this? We're going to get into that in one second. Don't forget, tonight, our normal scheduled live stream at 7 p.m. Eastern Time on Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok will be underway. I can't wait for that. We're talking Ripple and XRP, Bitcoin, HBAR, Vila. We're talking it all. Make sure you tune in. Here's the article from NBC News. A Fed rate cut is coming. How big? Well, that's anyone's guess. A reduction to the central bank's federal funds rate serves as a benchmark for other borrowing costs through the economy. It says the Federal Reserve is posed to cut rates Wednesday, the first time since a COVID-19 pandemic that pushed it lower. A reduction to the central bank's federal fund rate serves as a benchmark for other borrowing costs throughout the economy. And while that move has been widely anticipated, investors have been unable to predict how large the cut could be. On Tuesday, a survey by CNBC correspondent Stephen Leisman showed a majority of respondents forecasting a 0.25% cut from the current level of 5.3%, even as Wall Street traders said it's more likely that central banks would issue a half a percent cut. Look, what do we know? It's either going to be a quarter or a half a percent. That's what we're looking at. On like the Vegas betting lines for this, that's where the, the worst odds are. Um, you know, it's not going to be 1%. It'll be absolutely insane. A quarter, I'm hoping for a half. But what is this going to do? And how does this have an overall impact on the cryptocurrency markets? It's very simple. If they cut these rates, and if they cut them by a half a percent, you're going to look at less interest earned back on like your treasury bonds, your CDs, your bonds in general, right? So when that happens, if those rates come down, because we were getting over 5% on those, if those start to come down to like a 25 or a 3%, people are going to look to deploy capital elsewhere. And treasury bond and CD, pretty much guaranteed money. But now if you're telling you're only going to get a 2 to 3% on those, people are going to be looking into this thing called cryptocurrency as a safe haven. They're going to deploy some of their capital. Maybe it's 1%, 5%, maybe even 10%. Maybe a lot of money starts to rotate out of traditional finance and comes into the crypto markets because they realize that you know they have the appetite to take a little risk in their portfolios. This could 100% help kick off the bull run. It's going to be attention to uh, pay attention to see where this goes, how much the drop is, and then when money is going to start to rotate out, it's not going to be instant. We're not going to see the rate cut come today. Well, we, we will see the rate cut, but we're not just going to see money start to flow directly into crypto. It's going to take some time, that time Q4 of this year, and then it'll start trickling. So we throw out that time frame that this push up in the cryptocurrency markets is going to last all the way up until tax season. We know what happens at tax seasons. Big businesses know how much money they got to show in their books. They start to sell off. They pay off what they got to pay off. 
and then we can continue to push up in the summer of 2025. That is when we are expecting the parabolic moves across a lot of the altcoins and then mortgage rates. For the first time in over 18 months, mortgage rates have decreased. Now, does this help? Yeah, but housing pricing over in the U.S. has not been affected. Right, low income housing, it just doesn't exist. If you wanted to live in a major city, good luck to you if you aren't making over a million dollars. Do I believe that mortgage rates plus house prices will come down? 100% I do. I believe that this was a massive bubble and overreaction, and I believe that we will see a, in a fix in the mortgage plus housing rates that are out there. Will we ever get back down? To a 2%, 3% mortgage? Well, I don't know. You know, it all depends who's going to get elected president. The presidential election is just about two months away. This is going to play a very important role in not only the U.S. economy, but also the cryptocurrency world because we know we have two candidates, one who has been very vocal about crypto, and they've been to the Bitcoin conference. They talked about how they want the U.S. to take the lead here. And we have another one who, uh, it's not too vocal about it, right? They tell you that they want nothing to do with crypto. Then they flip-flop. Then they say they're all about crypto, which I assume is just to try to win some votes over. And then they come out and they sue OpenSea for NFTs, which I think was just an attack on Trump. There's just a lot going on here. A lot going on. But very interesting times is what we are about to enter, especially with Q4 less than two weeks away. Jesse Haynes responded to this. Vitalik Buterin at Token 2049. He says, I'll be honest, this came as close as anything has to convince me to abandon crypto. Laugh out loud. Watch this. But Andrew's properties are better than all the rest of them. It's not you probably couldn't hear that because my desktop audio, I changed it yesterday for the live stream. It should have been coming through my headphones, but I need to actually do one thing. Hold on. I'm going to do it right now because I'm a pro at this. We're going to change that, that, and now we can play this. Boom. And its properties are from better than all the rest of them. It's not medical. No more double spend, it's incredible. Push your cash in your brain or it's bearable. A new form of wealth begins. It's good old Vitalik singing you a nice, beautiful song at Token 2049. Just what his, his investors, his backers want to see. I, I just, something's off with the man, folks. I mean, let's call a spade a spade. Something is 100% off of this man. He's been selling off a lot of Ethereum as of late. Interesting times ahead, yet we still believe Ethereum gets to 10,000. Some people even predict Ethereum goes as high as 20,000, which would be a 10x from here. There's the video again. We don't gotta go over it. Bitcoin, just in. 10 trillion financial giant BlockRock releases a full report on Bitcoin, saying it's a unique diversifier. The new marketing team is here. That's right. We're going to start seeing a rotation to these financial giants like BlackRock, JP Morgan, Charles Schwab, Fidelity, Robinhood all step in and start to be the cheerleaders for crypto. It all starts with Bitcoin because remember, we can't have an alt season until Bitcoin decides to make its move up. Bitcoin goes first and then money rotates out. That has been a playbook since 2013. Nothing has changed on top of that. Chad put this out. Bricks announces new rails will, will be an entirely new financial network, not just for cross-border payments. New rails, new world. Bricks is working towards the creation of a new payment system without the integration of the U.S. dollar and its mechanism, confirmed Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov. The minister added that the new payment system will not only be used to settle cross-border transactions, it will act as a complete financial setup. This is also a more important to when Trump stated that he wants to make sure that the U.S. stays in the lead of the crypto race. And now you got BRICS putting out their major announcement on a new payment system. But don't forget this, India and the UAE, are they reportedly using XRP for major oil transactions? I'm not saying they will, 
This website right here, com combrine.com, how reliable are they? Probably not that reliable to be honest with you. But it is something to think about, especially with all the partnerships we know going on between Ripple, the UAE, the banks, India, how Ripple is controlling over like 75% of the banks. I would not be surprised if they are working with all of the banks in India now. We know Ripple has been working with those banks since about 2018 when Ashish Birla came on stage at a conference over in Canada and he kind of leaked the fact that Ripple had over 75% of the banks under the belt that they were pretty much just missing one major bank. We haven't got updates out of it, but we know Ripple got offices over there. We've seen a lot of different jobs coming over there as well. Then there was a Reddit post and this is a very, very amazing comment. It says the XRP ledger is an open source. So technically nothing is stopping a potential BRICS coin from being minted on there. Although it's unlikely. Ripple themselves will not work directly with Russia. I think it's more likely that this system will be a new network, but built with interoperability in mind. XRP adoption will come. Don't ride it all in the hopes of BRICS. If anything, the West might adopt XRP as an answer to BRICS. Well said, 100% that the West might adopt XRP as the answer to BRICS because, hey, the West doesn't want to lose. The U.S. does not want to lose this crypto race, and especially if Russia is involved. You know how we feel about Russia. Interesting times, folks. Keep your eyes peeled. Keep your eyes out. Live stream tonight, 7 p.m. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.